Hi kids! Well, I'm so excited to share with you some fun things we have just this Halloween week. Um, as most of you probably have, a pumpkin or two or maybe even a jack-o'-lantern around your house. Um, I just wanted to share with you a fun little pumpkin prayer that you can do while you carve your pumpkins or maybe as you just go around and look at pumpkins as um, Halloween approaches. So many of you have probably heard this pumpkin prayer before, um, maybe at church or in years past, but it's just a really good reminder of what God does in our life as we carve our pumpkins. So I have my helper Lauren today, who's dressed up in her Halloween costume, ready to go. Lauren, what are you dressed up as? A kitty. A kitty cat. So Lauren, will you help me as we go through our pumpkin prayer? Yes, okay, awesome. Okay, so our prayer starts with, you can either hold your hands just as we do this prayer together, but it starts, Dear God, as I carve my pumpkin, help me to say, open my mind so I can learn about you. Can you lift up the top? You can put it off to the side. So we open our mind as we learn about God. Take away my sin and forgive me all of the wrong things I do. Now, can you pull out the yucky insides? Can you pull it out? So this is like God taking away all the yucky insides. Lauren, how does this feel? Take away all the yuckies. Just like we carve our pumpkin, God takes all the yuckies out of our bodies. We're gonna find out, it says, the next part of the prayer says, open my eyes so your love I will see. Lauren, can you pop out the heart eyes? Can you pop them out? So open my eyes. Can you pop out the other one? Yep. Open my eyes so your love I will see. And it says next, I'm sorry that I've turned up my nose at you sometimes, Lord, to all that you've given me. Can you pop out his nose? So we made the nose in a cross to remind us that Jesus is what we need to focus on. Open my ears to your word so I can hear better. Can you pop out the ears? Oh, there's one ear. Here's the other ear. Can you do the other? And there look like Bibles to remind us to open our ears to God's word. It's okay. We don't need to get it. So open my ears to your word. And last, open my mouth so that I can tell others that you are near. Lauren, what is the mouth the shape of? Um, out of a fishy. Out of a fishy, that's right. So open my mouth. The fish reminds us of Jesus. And then Lauren, what's the last part of a jack-o'-lantern we need? Oh, a ghost. A light? No, a ghost. A ghost? We don't need a ghost. So we're gonna turn our light. The last part of the thing says, let my, your light shine in all I do. So we're gonna do a light shine. Lauren, will you go turn off our light so we can see it a little bit better? It's not gonna get super dark, but we turn on our light. It's cool. And we're gonna let our light shine through. Right, Lauren? So you guys can carve a pumpkin like this using your pumpkin prayer. You'll actually get a pumpkin prayer too in your kids' bags when you're at church, or you can get one in the email that I will send to you as well. So that you can try to do your own pumpkin prayer and tell God how much you appreciate and love him. Lauren, can you move off to the side, show him your costume and how cute the pumpkin is? Look at our pumpkin. Well, thanks for watching kids. And don't forget next Sunday, November 3rd, First is our fall festival. There's gonna be lots of fun activities, trunk or treat. Um, again, it's November 1st from three to five. So we hope to see you there and we hope you have fun carving your pumpkins and saying your pumpkin prayer. Bye. Bye.